Welcome to Yahweh and Speak television show. We are here in Everson, Illinois. This is the Hebrew Husband and Wife Ministry. Moving forward as Yahweh had put that vision in our raw mankind to bring forth because this is, this is a touchy situation where people don't believe that it's shy woman should be. But they, the, yeah, they, they say they usurping their authority. They, authority. they not usurping their authority. They're doing the authority that was given to them from the God. Praise the mighty Yah. We are here coming off the great Lyam part of Yahweh weekly holy conversation. Went home, had that Sabbat rest, and then he awakened us, refreshed us to bring forth another lesson from last night's good lesson to the Yom part of his weekly holy conversation, you know, uh, weekly Sabbat. To bring forth this marvelous lesson, every lesson he has, I thank my brothers and sisters in the Word from Genesis to Revelation. You all are doing a fantastic job in all, and from Roman Christian, where there's truth, there's truth. In Hebrews, praise the mighty God, those are the two connections of, of, of the Bible. Holla Yahweh. And so Yah that Yahweh has put as you to bring forth a beautiful lesson. And it's titled, What You Put In, You Will Get Out. And that's what it is, whatever it is. It's word, food, what you put in, you're going to get out. Whether it's told or rock, that's what you're going to get out. Yep. What you feed the most, as we just was saying you gotta cut off that um, umbilical cord from from yourself and Yah. You know, you got from the devil that is, and get connected to Yah's biblical right. nutrition cord, his word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Let's define the word in. In from the Webster's College Dictionary, page 678. Use one. Used to indicate inclusion within space, a place, or limits walking in the park. Two, used to indicate inclusion within something abstract or immaterial in politics in the autumn. Three, used to indicate inclusion within or occurrence during period or limit of time in ancient times, a task done in 10 minutes. Like you say, in, in ancient times, these like say, y'all, so you return to the ancient. Ancient is the old landmark starting from Genesis to Revelation. Read. Number four, used to indicate limitation or qualification as a situation, condition, relation, manner, action, etc. to speak in a whisper. Five, used to indicate means spoken in French. Six, used to indicate motion or six, used to indicate motion as or with direction from outside to a point within to, into let's go in the house. That's right, let's go in the house. We, let's go in the house in, into the house of Abba Yahweh. Continue. Seven, used to indicate Transition from one state to another to break in half. Yes, we we using we put this in to break one state to another. The the evilness house of time and was whispering to it until the, the best state of Yahweh is taught. Eight used to indicate object or purpose speaking in honor of the event. Yes, we we put in speaking of the honor of the event. You should go on a tree for all mankind. How are y'all way? The divine out. From the Webster College Dictionary, page 959. One, not in the usual place. Position, state, etc. Out of alphabetical order. That's right. You know, out. You out of y'all's order. He had things done decently in order. You out out of his order, but you in order with house of time. Two. Away from one's home, country, work, etc. Hallelujah. You just like say, all is well. What you put in. Mm -hmm. It's what you're going, you will get out. That's what it is. You what you put in, you will get out. But like I said, it's that. That's what it is. In and out. Holla, y'all rock. 
that's 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 go to Matthew, Matthew, Matthew chapter seven, Matthew, Matthew chapter seven, Matthew, Matthew chapter seven, Matthew chapter seven, Matthew chapter seven, and verses thirteen, fourteen. Matthew chapter 7, verse 13. Enter ye at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Hallelujah, it said, you're sure it's saying, enter you in at the say We are saying in, in. He telling you to come in. To Yeshua, come into the fire of Yahweh, Yahweh, so you can learn how to enter in, yep. in, 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 in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because you, you hadn't cut your, you hadn't been cut off from house of time yet. You don't cut him. You let, let him, as we see in the death of whisper, with a quiet whispering in your ear, putting it in, and then you're around. You other people that the demons had whispering they in, and you gather with them, running away from y'all instead of running to them. And that's what it is. You, you know, I asked at the rock, I just had our raw stomach do the, the lesson, the pre lesson before there. You, you, y'all, the devil wants you to feel shame, guilty, and all that. Like he said, he condemned you. What did you sure say? As you come to him, there is no condemnation. Yep. You got to return and y'all stop running from running. Running from y'all, run to him. That's what he said. Run to me. Holler y'all up. Amen. Verse 14. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Hallelujah. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto cat, this blessed cat, and eternal cat. Through, through there be that find it. It's a fruit because they don't want it. You know, you won't yeah. let go. That like we just had then you won't you won't let go of everything and live Yah's way. Yeah. You gotta die to yourself and, and live for Yah. Mm -hmm. You know, he told you choose this young cat or my back. He tell you, and then he give you the answer to the question. Choose cat. Like, well, how beautiful a uh, uh, father is that? He tell you which way to go. Because you know the destruction way is a hot of time mm -hmm. in this life and eternal life. Hallelujah. It's a lake of fire. It's all in the new. As I was slumming last night, we were giving that lesson. And say, and they, they always say, do it or work. And they would say, work, work, work. Your past stuff. You're always talking about my past stuff. Your past ain't showing it because they teaching. And, and the works that all done, it's all in the new. It was work from the beginning. When you when Yeshua spoke, let there be light. Then you, you work in your mouth. You know, it's works. You, you, you playing with, you letting that pastor play with your eternal kind because you want to sit there and become a thing because you come and you're sitting on a wooden pool pit that, uh, I mean, pit that you're going to be saved. He said it's work to be done. He has finished all his work. Now he left it up to us. As you know in this life. You, they say, as it's written, a man don't work, a man don't eat, a man you don't work, you don't have nothing. You do nothing, you get nothing. You, you don't go to school to work, you don't have nothing. Holla, y'all right. So, but this is where all these principles come from. Our daddy, y'all right. Yeah. Praise him. Genesis chapter 1 and 1. See, this is what I tell you. Say, take it to the, to the ancient. This is where it all began. And this is where it all began. Genesis chapter 1 and 1. Please start there. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 1. In the beginning, Yah created the heaven and the earth. Go to 3. Verse 3. And Yah said. Go 1 to 3. Oh. 3 to 3. Verse 2. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of Yah moved upon the face of the water. Verse 3, And Yah said, Let there be light, and there was light. Read all right to 5. 
Verse 4. And Chapter 11. Yes. This is it. We're first in the high barrister, Elohim, Barad, Hashemite, and Ever. And the high Ever was, <coughs> was without form and void. Darkness was upon the high face of the high deep. And the high Ruach of Elohim moved. The Ruach was always here. It did not come in the New Testament, Pentecost. It was always in the Ruach of Elohim moved upon the face of the of, of the high Mayan. And did you read? Yeah. And Elohim Amar, let there be oil. And there was oil. He spoke. Like I say, he spoke, he spoke what he wanted to get out of his word. He spoke it. He spoke it out. And he, 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 he put into the Ruach. And then he put it out there. And this is what came the results of. What you put in, you will get out. Continue. Mm -hmm. Verse 4. And, El and, and Yah saw the light, that it was good. And Yah divided the light from the darkness. And I saw that the high oil, that it was told, and I divided the high oil from the dark. Like I say, that was the work there. That was work to divide the, the Lyel from the Yom. It's like I say, he put in, he, he knew, he had in mind, he had a man in before he came, and then he put it out. He had put it in so he can have the good result. You can put in and get out the good result, or you can put in and get out the bad result. Yeah. It's what you would put in and what you want to get out of. Mm -hmm. ten. Verse 5. And Yah called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Hallelujah. And Elohim corralled the high oil, Yah, and the darkness, Yah, sure corralled Lyah. And the evening and the morning were the first Yah. The evening and the first morning, he put it, he, he put it out there. He put it out and what's getting out? The day starts in the evening. Ain't no sun, sunrise to sunset. Then those days, you go on that. You wouldn't have no, as you should say, the new. Yeah, 12 hours to the young, 12 lying. You couldn't get it because it changed. You know, we, like I say, the, the error has been cursed, so it's not in the line exactly how it was with creation when we were over there. Over there, they still get 12 hours and nine hours because that's the, that's the greater and what that is, that's the garden over there. You can still get it over there, but that's why I say the error and the curse is it's, it's not shifting, it's not being aligned the wrong way, but over there. Because Hasatan is over here doing his thing. It ain't the act of God. None of this stuff is the act of God. It's Hasatan. You know, man has turned their back on him, so he has, he can't break his Torah. The divine example is, it, it, from the garden, he ain't all throughout the book. But the fine example I can think of is, yo, he, and he can't talk to at the Yahweh, the then so, hey, he's praising you, because you're looking out for him, but you, you, you just let me in a little bit, I break him down, I beat him down, he curse you. But that's what it is. You stand no matter what. This is, you know, the, these people was, they were some um, martyrs, they died, but but died in, in the hope of the goodness which he promised us as the lesson we've done last yeah. night. We live in martyrs. We're taking these, we're not, like you say, put on hold on. We're taking them fire, we die from the devil. Stand. Because he's trying to kill Yah's word from us. Uh, Holler Yah to be truthful from Genesis to Revelation. Stay within the boundary. They're like the water's got the boundary. This is the boundary. The book. Mm -hmm. uh, Genesis, stay in Genesis chapter 1 and, and, and verse 26 to 28. We just spoke about this is it. Mm -hmm. This is what Yah put in, put out, and this is what it is. Man, you can put in your thoughts, your thoughts. We don't care. You know, we don't care. You got the Roman Christian doctrine. You got lying and church twisting thing, and you got some Hebrews, you know, Hebrews doing the same thing, reading and twisting, and you got the Judean people doing it. They the biggest, but biggest ones kicking against y'all, you know. And the world believe in them. No, read this book. Believe this book. Mm -hmm. Holla, y'all. Read. Verse twenty six, and y'all said, "Let us make man in our image after our likeness." and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Hallelujah. Okay. And Elohim, let us, 
yes. you know, let us make all our man. So it was, it, it was, it was two. He thought us is one or more, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it's not no trend. It ain't no the, the trend. The, I mean, it, the Ruach is not a Elohim head. It's not. It's his power source. And let Elohim is no heat. And Elohim, let us make our own in our image after our life. Let him. That's where he broke it down to you. He, what was in him, he let out. And this is what he said. Them have the men. That's that. He said, let them have the men. 27. Verse 27. That is where the Isha got her authority. Yep. It was given to her. For what? He said, over oh, every creeping thing that creeping upon the earth. And the most creepiest thing upon the earth is Hasatan and his demon. And evil men not walking with, with Abba Yahweh. And that's the power she has over him. To bring his truth. And stand up, be a Yahbuster. Break down them lives with that hammer and nail. For the world to come. Have, like I say, have a conscious decision. And have wrong account. To, to choose life for their read. Verse 27, so Yah created man in his own image, in the image of Yah created he him, male and female created he them. Hallelujah. So Elohim brought Allah in his own image. I mean, the light is up. We got that Ruach that you see roaming on the earth. We got that. And like I say, the same Ruach that rolled up sugar gave you strong power. We got it, but you got to come to into your daddy's house and get fed with it. In the image of Elohim brought he, him, male, and female, but rod, he, them. Uh, yeah, Verse 28. And Yah blessed them, and Yah said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. Hallelujah. And Elohim bereft them. And Elohim's Amon to them be fruitful and multiply and replenish the high heaven and subdue it. And that's why they say being fruitful, multiplying, being fruitful with these words, multiplying around there, and 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 and, 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 and replenishing it with these two dollar rain, and we should do it to our big old brother Yeshua come with two words from Genesis to Revelation. What is written? It ain't, ain't, ain't like I said, a well-known pastor. He telling that the congregation, big congregation, then you got people watching you, or hearing you radio, or whatever. And he told us, he gave scripture and said the scripture contradict itself. He probably be a New Testament believer, but you saying it. No, the Bible don't contradict itself. It don't need us to interpret it. It interprets itself. What, is, yeah. what, it, what it is, what, is, what the scripture said, that's what it is. Yeah. We just repeating what they had left for us to be repeated, mm -hmm. to replenish and subdue this everywhere. And more, and, 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 and be fruitful with these two dollar rings. That's what, yeah, we speak in time unusual truth doctrine you're not used to. Holla, y'all rock. Right. Yeah, so, but we're going to do our duty. His will is our will. He said that what, as it is in, in Shemite, it's in our dominant era. And that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And his will is a non Shapiro. And y'all, it's okay, you know, to teach, you know, you teach the word, like you say, seek you the kingdom and everything that. You ain't gonna be teaching prosperity and all that. Yeah, I'll teach that, but y'all ain't teach how to keep their soul from the lake of fire. That's first. Seek the kingdom first. Then you get that. Yeah, you got some all types of people that help you help you, he will help you how to get his wealth and keep some to continue on and, and leave some. And can, can leave that word, like to replenish for people can come and know him. My us. Holler, y'all. Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter It's a modest word. People don't. Y'all don't believe your parents. It's all in the new. They don't give you them scripts. They try to dance around with all the two biggest uh, great teacher, teachers uh, uh, that, that I know of. And then when they go to read and something about the law, they, they just read it and, and and then people sitting and taking it in. You can't get away around. It's all in the new. You sure can. Ain't no better covenant than the first. The first is still the same. Oh, he said, I'm going to write it in your mind. Meaning you're going to read it. You know, he said, it as it is today. It was the people we threw. And then the Roman Christian being bring some weak stuff. You can't do it. Yeah, he ate it. He ain't gave you a job. He tells you, I have made you well equipped. I have made you able. 
holla y'all, ain't no excuse, you know. Y'all can have an excuse, but ain't none with y'all. That's the devil and the demons working in. Holla y'all in Genesis chapter 2, verses 1 to 3. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 1. Thus the heaven and the earth were finished and all the hosts of them. Verse 2. And on the seventh day, Yah ended his work which he had made and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. Hallelujah. You know, the, the Roman Christian will tell you what, this, this is what Yah put out. And, 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 and it's going. It's what it's in, and this is what it, what is in the word. He put this out on the seventh yom. Elohim ended his work. There is always what wrong with the word. They tell you the Old Testament don't know, but they go there because this is telling you how to live. It's just instructional book. How there ain't no religion. Y'all don't have a religion. You have a belief system in um, from Genesis to Revelation. Ain't no y'all don't have no in, in the new. So I wouldn't want y'all on the part. That's when he called him out. Is this your this? He calling out name. You sure ain't got no uh, religion, different denomination. It's only one. He said one Elohim, one baptism. That's it. And on the seventh, y'all Elohim ended his work, which he had made. And he shalom on the seventh, y'all, from all his work, which he had made. Read. Verse 3. And y'all blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that in it he had rested from all his work which Yah created and made. And I am the rock the seventh Yah and sanctified. It's the only day sanctified. And because that it in it he shalom from all his work which Elohim by rod and made. That's the, the seventh. Ain't nothing changed. This is, this is a command. It's in there. The, the Roman Christian, they like talking about the command. This one, like they say, they part do more the other nine, but this this one is one one. They they buck again. It's that. Y'all love to say he's saying yes every day and forever. Yes, he never changed. It's in he, he, everything you read in the news. It's in the old. That's where they got it from. In the old, he was he was speaking boldly and direct. Dutch says y'all right. And then when the one y'all named Jesus Yeshua came, he said it is written. He was referring back to the to the old because they was walking out the new. How do y'all rock? Praise him. Skip down to verse 7 to 8. Verse 7. And Yah Elohim formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostril the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Hallelujah. This is what yeah, yeah, he had in him, and he put it out. He put this in him. From the, the from way before the creation, and, and Yahweh Elohim formed Adam of the dust and of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils high nephrins of Kai, and Adam became a living Kaya nephrins. This is what he, he added in his mind. He put it out there. He had this this what he put in. He put out, and that's what he got. Us. Mm -hmm. Finish. Verse eight. And Yah Elohim planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. Yes, and Yahweh Elohim planted a garden eastward in Eden, and, and there he put Ha'adam who he had formed. And that's what it is, that, that God, we, we in his garden now, in his era, Goshen, a group of saints holding on to the ever name, name of Yahshua. We under that, we under that spiritual umbrella, all that it is. All this physical, physical thing that's going on, we covered by the spiritualness. We, you may see doom and gloom, we see the glory of God. You know, it is written. You know, all what you see happening in the world, so it's in the Bible. So he, like he say, for one of his children, he teaches you. But y'all want to do away with the old, oh, it's the instructional book. Where is that? You know? But all is well. As Yeshua has said, this is it. He said, this, he said, the wars and rumors of war is the beginning of song. He said, the beginning. And he let you the who I put it. This is the beginning of definitely the end. Look at the world. All it's, it's more weather related thing all around the world. It used to be somewhat isolated here and there. Now it's happening frequently. He letting you know. And it ain't Yah. It's the devil and his demons 
Because man, in the, the world was cursed from Adam, but he let the head call us back one by one. He got to take his head of protection off or something, but he still have mercy in how I see him. Thank him for that. Holler y'all up. Skip down to verses 15 and 19. Verse 15. And Yah Elohim took the man and put him into the Garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And Yah Elohim took Ha'adam put him in the Garden of Eden to dress it and shemai. That's what it is. He, 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 put him, he put the man in there. He would expect some out of him to keep it in there decently on. See, to, to keep his work. He's working. Read. Verse 16, And Yah Elohim commanded man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. Hallelujah. This is, this is, you know, that's, And Yahweh Elohim survived the Adam Amar. Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. He's, 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 he's put, putting out what he expected to get in from man. He's putting it out there in this way. He had his table. He always had a table. You sit down like we had. In the temple, we sitting down at his table getting fed. He was going to feed, feed him physical, and he was always coming, like saying, the cool dirty. He, he was sitting at his table getting fed. He was, he was having a man, giving the man put in what he was saying so he can get out what he had said to him. Contain. Verse 17, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. But the, the tree of, of God and I'm told and wrong, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the high young that thou eatest different, thou shalt surely move. And that's that's that like says raw through our raw. Uh Salomo was saying, devil came in, all these thousands of trees and all that, he came with that whisper, as we had to the end. Came with that whisper a lot. Continue. Verse 18. And Yah Elohim said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a help me for him. Hell yeah, Yahweh Elohim, it is not told that Adam should be alone. I will make him an Azar me for him. This is, like I say, uh, it's, it's your brother and sister. We, we are helpmates, meets of each other. The sisters right along with us, side by side, doing Yah's work. Verse 19, and out of the ground, Yah Elohim formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he called them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. Hey, and out of the ground, Yah Elohim formed every beast of the field, every fowl of the air, and brought them to Adam to see what Adam would corral them. And whatsoever Adam corral, every kind, barah, that was the high shim of that. See, Yeshua put in, he put in to the errors and all, and he knew what he was going to get out. What you put in, you will get out. But it's told barah, you choose. Praise the mighty God. Skip down to 21 to 25. Verse 21, and Yah Elohim caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. Hallelujah. And Yahweh Elohim caused a deep sleep that let good shalom on to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took Akkad of his rib and closed up the flesh and, and, and instead there. This is the first. First surgeon, the first anesthesia he had done was he that man get from him, you know. It was the first and they said he, he was going, he was putting in what he wanted he was gonna get out. Continue, this is what he was gonna get out. Verse 22, and the rib which Yah Elohim had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. Verse 23, and Adam said, This is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Verse 24, Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Hallelujah, you see, as, like you said, in, in verse 23, 
and uh, she she was taken out of Adam because Yeshua went in. That's what he wanted to get out. Then, verse twenty-five, and they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. Hallelujah! I had just did I, I rush home just before this lesson, the, the pre-lesson, and they both both were naked. And, uh, and how down the Isha and were not ashamed. That'll be thrilled before House of Time came whispering in their ear. That's all he come to shame you and all that. Had he didn't make you condemn where you running away from y'all still running to y'all. To, to let that light shine over that darkness lie he had been stuck for years, like they said. You ain't you ain't cut the biblical cord of your life. You like as we know in the new it said. All old things have passed by, I am a new, you know, forgetting those things that are behind it before. People holding on stuff 30, 40 years, that, and that's when they say, you come around, yeah, they want to beat you up, you know, with the, with the issue the, that they, they don't know how to let go. Let go everything and live Yahweh's way. What Yahweh's way. How is Yahweh? Hallelujah. Genesis. Chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4. Uh, some words y'all want. Uh, here's from Genesis chapter 4. 1 to 12. Genesis chapter 4 and verse 1. And Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain. And said, I have gotten a man from Yah. Hallelujah. And Abraham, Yah, he, his Isha, he, like he said, knew him had sex. What? He, his Isha, they were married. Ain't no having sex with a man and woman. That's fornication, that's a sin. You know, and then you got, you got some in all the uh, temple accepting that. You brought the counsel of the people. When they come in, especially because a lot of them, young women grew up in them, you know, you supposed to be in cons and them, hey, teach them the hey, the command. This, that's fornicating the sin, and, and for you all say, my fiance, you haven't said before marriage, you, you fornicate, you sin. Just because they done told you that, hey, you marry me. Like they, 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 they say, you giving away the milk before, oh, you know that. You giving it away. Then they can change their mind. Some of y'all been engaged for 30 years. Holler, y'all wrong. Continue. Verse 2. And she. But if he did, that front of it, it's okay. That's, that's the shame. How Stein try to have when you repent, come to Yahweh. Let the light shine upon you. Let it go and, and, and live the, the single life as he may give you. Until, you know, if he bless your husband and your wife, good. If not, this is the best blessing you have, working for Yahweh. Holla, Yahweh, read. Verse 2, and she again bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. Verse 3, and in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto Yahweh. Verse 4, and Abel, he also brought the, of the firstlings of his flock and, the, and of the fat thereof. And Yah have respect unto Abel and to his offering. Hallelujah. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And Yah have respect unto Abel and to his offering. Because why Abel put in what he was expecting to get out? He, he was doing out of love. But what he put in, he got blessed about it. Because he put in with his heart, he was giving it in love. You, you, you know, I keep telling you, you grudge it, I don't want your time and offering. If you grudge it, think, oh, man, I do that. It, it, it's, it goes without a doubt. You don't even think about it. That's just your lifestyle. You love it because what God do for you and give you kind and good health to get that well continued. Verse 5, but unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect, and Cain was very wroth, and, and his countenance fell. See, this right, but unto Cain, 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 and to his offering, Yahweh had no respect. Cain was very wroth, 
and, and he's coming kind of to spare. Hey, he allowed, allowed that evilness to come in his mind. He, did, he allowed Hasatan to whisper to him, oh, he ain't got to do all that. People tell you, he ain't got to do all that. Yeah, he got to do all that to eat some more. You know? To keep walking with Yahweh. And that's what it is. And, and, and then, this is, then Yahweh told him how to, how to fix this. Like he tells us in the word. Read. Verse 6. And Yah said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thy countenance fallen? Verse 7. If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. Hallelujah. He said, And Yahweh among to Cain, Why art thou brought? Why is thy countenance fallen? You know, he's talking, he talking to people today. The other day, there ain't nothing changed. Mm -hmm. He said, If you do as well, mm -hmm. sh sh shall not that thou be accepted. Shall you not be accepted of me? Yeah. If, you do, if you don't do well, how to all line at the door? And until you, and until you shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. Until you, the devil is there waiting. He's there waiting, whispering, continually whispering into the heat at your door, whispering, and all that. And, and his desire to have him to rule over you instead of letting you, let y'all rule over you. Read. Verse 8, And Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. Hallelujah. And Cain, y'all, uh, to uh, uh, Abel, his heart. And it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his heart, and killed him. And then he got that uh, proper fee, whatever, proper liar fee, saying, that Abel came and, and was pastoring Cain. Where do it say? They said they can't even talk. It ain't no way where. So y'all gotta y'all take that on Hebrews and all of that Greek uh, uh, mythology lie. You know? And, and it's so I, that's a story book as some wrong people call it story. Ain't no story. It's, it's biblical facts. Ain't no story. Yeah. The devil got story. The devil got game. Y'all don't. And then you yeah, be taking that out of that property that Abel came and came told him, hey man, go on, leave me alone, get off my land, get off my land. That's a lie. You see what he said? They were talking. Read. Verse 9. And Yah said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? Hallelujah. And Yahweh Amar to Cain, Where is Abel thy heart? And he am I, I got it not. Am I my ox tomorrow? I used to think that the Ruach had had the through raw, you know, raw snow correct because people think you're a brother's keeper. I used to think that. No, you're not. Your Yah is your brother's keeper. They want to be kept, they got to be through Yah. He's the provider. That's who it keeps them. Yah. We can only bring his word that, that lead, points them in the direction of uh, Yah. We are not our brother's keeper. If they ain't want to be think that we can't keep them. Only y'all can keep us from the, uh, from the, that as we came up in feast day, from the, that, that great, terrible day, but it's a great day for believing. And he said every day he keeps you. He's the keeper. Amen. Read. Verse 10, and he said, what hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. Yeah, and then, and then he lied. See how Solomon got to him. He's the father of life, so he had him talk, talking to the father of all, all creation. And he mom, what has thou done? The voice of thy ox, now crying unto me from the ground. Read. Verse 11, now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. Hallelujah. And now thou art cursed from the high air, which hath opened her mouth to receive that ox down from thy hand. You can't hide nothing from y'all, y'all. You, you think that they say men in God's book are doing things at night like people used to do things at night, but now they're doing the broad daylight. You know, half the time, it's running rapid all this around. This is y'all trying to get your attention and repent and come back here and serve him and come under that umbrella of, of, of spiritual devotion right now with the taxes, full of taxes. 
He got caught because he had hang high and see. And that's what that lesson last night was drawing out the we are the up of his mercy. Finish. Verse 12, when thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond, thou shalt be in the earth. How you? Okay. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her coat. A fugitive and a vagabond, so thou be in the earth. We was that, but now we had we like like he had told all that we gonna till the ground and this and you that's where you gonna get your lack. That was for those who ain't on. Yeah, we know we uh pilgrim the strange, we confess that, that's what we got confess. We pilgrim the strange we want to do this, because this ain't the new Shemaim in heaven, you know, the, the kingdom of heaven came down yet, but we we till it's the ground and it, it's blessed by the best, and we ain't stressed. And we can't sell it from nothing left. Message to Daniel Davis. Holler, y'all are. Yeah. I said, we ain't, we came once, we didn't take the this. We can't sell it for nothing left. It's all in all, of, we don't want nothing at all. That's it. We want all in all from our daddy, y'all. We ain't taking nothing. You can offer 99.9, and if it ain't all 100 of y'all, we don't want it. Holler, y'all are. They ain't sound for nothing but that a hundred from your whole. He had, he had made enough we hold and everything. Our health, blessing, our uh, relationship, communication, wherever we go, we hold. We are that all you should say. I ain't called you that life. You don't go hide and, 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 and compromise with the world. You stand above them. Tell them what I said. Holler Yahweh from Genesis to Revelation. You can have your good, you can have your opinion. But what is written, this is what we live by. Holler y'all, he warned us, he warned us, he said, first thing he warned you. He said, hey, we try to add to take God. He said, come in, my son and daughter. He set us down, you know, that's like he sure did it. He, you're sure, um, he doing it as in the spirit, but he did it in the physical. Had the little children, that's what he said, we are children. We are forever a child, serving first then a zakar of that y'all. He said, let me tell you, they gonna change, think the change the times and all, which they, they did. The, the Sabbath, the Sunday, and they had tell you. They boldly tell you. We had the, the, the Roman Catholic Church. We did that. And then they boldly tell you, you see the boat? He's the living Elohim. Then then there's the visible, visible Elohim. Boy, that's house of time. Yep. How did I do, man? Mm -hmm. That's all there, because they want it their way. Mm -hmm. Praise the mighty God. You better get y'all's way before you move. Mm -hmm. right. Genesis chapter 5. Genesis chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. Genesis chapter 5 and verse 1. This is the book of the generations of Adam, in the day that God, that Yah created man in the likeness of Yah, made he him. Verse 2. Male and female created he them and blessed them, and called their name Adam, in the day when they were created. Hallelujah. And then he said, male and female, he barad he them, and barad them, and karad them, and adam, and hayam, and they were barad. He emphasized again, it's man and woman. Up on him, up in my word, I put in and got them out to do this work. They called. Not, not, because, you know, that was his brother, so he was calling out, the people even think Corinthians then, because the evil, evil, evil woman knew her role, and that's where you got to know. You got you to gotta know your role in this walk, man and woman, and you're doing it. But right? in the likeness of daddy, y'all all honor and glory to him. He gets the good. Like, like I was saying, it ain't I look good, but he has us to look good for he's good. So we can tell him who, where the goodness come from. And I be saying that in my prayer. Usually Monday to Friday work, ooh, Daddy Yahweh, you got me looking shiny and look good for all for your girl, because you is good. It's all to him. Give it up to him. It is nothing of us, it's all of him. It's all of him. You 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 walk, you live, you sleep, all of him. All of him. Your your health and all that. We stand, I say you looking for a few good men and women to stand in the gap for them. We stand in the gap. He's, uh, we say to get them, Daddy Yahweh, for they know not some things, but they do is say. And that's what we're doing. How did y'all rock? Mm -hmm. He said, looking who's going to stand in the gap for mankind. 
and bring these two words to Genesis and Revelation. How did y'all rock? Go to you there, y'all. Genesis chapter 6. Like you say, as the we said in that thing, we went we back in ancient times. This is where you get it. This is where he put it in so you can get out all what he wants you to know. He put it in throughout the book, but this is where it's at, the ancient time, the way this is the instructional book in the beginning. Once you get it, we got as as, as we had Rock, 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 Storm, as uh, Saru was saying, I, I have I attained, as if I had not attained, I have attained, we have attained what he wants to know, but we hadn't attained all what he wants to know. And we ain't finished our course until we sleep for the resurrection. Holly, y'all, you can say, I'm tired, I'm tired. Yeah, the flesh trying to do that way, but then you snap on his face. Yeah, and I Rock, Storm, we ain't tired until we lay down for the resurrection. We can have plenty of rest. But why we get, as he had just said, if the man do nothing much in his give you out, while we got breath and I give you out, we gonna do this. What we call to do. How y'all in Genesis chapter 6, verses 1 and 7. Genesis chapter 6 and verse 4. Oh, this is it. This is Hebrews and Roman Christians. Y'all want to clarify this. Wow. And it came to pass when men began, began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them. See, this, uh, Yah, he putting in what he wants out of it. The truth, uh, what, what I say, they, he wants the good, but he puts in what he's going to get out of it. And then man put in what he wants to get out That ain't what ain't Yah. It's going to, you are going to interpret it, read. Verse 2, that the sons of Yah saw the daughters of men, that they were fair. And they took them wives of all which they chose. Hallelujah. And this is it. It had came to pass when Adam began to multiply on the high, on the face of the high Elohim, and best were born unto them. That the high bonds of Elohim, sons of Elohim, us that follow them, of Elohim, saw the high best of Adam, those who ain't following, that they, that's it, you know, Canaan's children, you know. You know, and the uh, belts of Adam, that they were in Canaan, whoever they were, it was more than Canaan, but they wasn't following Yahweh. The daughters of Adam, we are regular men, that they were fair. Look, so good people going on looks, what's inside, what's in there going to come out. And they took them inside of all which they chose. Y'all ain't choosing, y'all ain't trying to go there like we read. I, I, Patriarch, uh, uh, just got on all them sinning and serve out go, hey, hey, I don't want no issue of these other uh, the nation. They, they, they put in and got out what Yah had taught. Read. Verse 3, and Yah, and Yah said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his day is a hundred and twenty years. Yeah, Yah always said, My Ruach shall not always strive with man, and this way he had, he had to be mentioned. For he, he ain't nothing but flesh. Read. Verse, uh, verse 4. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of Yah came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. Hallelujah. And there were giants, giants in the land. It said in the air. They were giants. They didn't say no. No, no fallen angel came down. They said there were giants in the air. Y'all see giant people with stuff tall in this mountain. In the high elevator, in those young. And also after that, when the high bonds of Elohim came into the unto the high baths of Adam, Adam, it ain't say baths of angels. But in fact, angels came weep with Kofi. Because in that case, Hachatan had his earth all to itself. They came weep with dude. And then, the, and y'all said in the beginning, this kind after this kind. A dog after this kind, after, after this. So called African American after this kind. So called white people after this kind. A Asian after this kind. All that. That's Good. of his kind. Good. An angel ain't of our kind. And it tell you that there was, that there, it was the, the, the daughters of our dumb. And they buried them back then to them. The same became mighty out down. They became mighty, which were uh, old men of renown, a statue and all that. That's all. You're telling you, uh, uh, them, 
See what God had put in, this is what he got out. He put in his blue rock in us and we getting out, getting out what he had put in us to put it out there is true. Amen. God said, they ain't, they, they, they read, angels can't read the code. And Yeshua said, and there would be no Mary and all that, you know, in the Shemaim. Mm -hmm. yeah. Read. Verse 5, and Yah saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And y'all saw so that the rocks uh, of Adon just, just had, from the time it's gotten greater in the higher earth. And then every imagination of those, of the thoughts of the, their pay, lay, was only rock continually. Those who now follow him, y'all, that was that, the sons of Adon, they ain't the sons of Yah. Read. Verse 6, and he repented Yah that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. Hallelujah. And, and Yahweh, he repented Yahweh that he had made out on the high heaven. And he grieved Yahweh at his heart, at his heart, and laid and pay. That is, that is sad. Yep. You know, he grieved, he loves, he grieved, he loves, he loves his creation, he grieves at it. Because not right, because he know they're expecting the end. It ain't going to happen if they don't repent and come back before they move. Read it. Verse 7, and Yah said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowl of the air, for it repented me that I have made them. Hallelujah. And Yahweh, are mine. I will destroy Adam whom I have by rod from the, the face of, of the high earth, both Adam and beast and air creeping thing and the fowls of the air, for it repented me that I have made them. See, but, but, See, I warn you before you go. Read 8. Verse 8. But Noah found grace in the eyes of Yah. Yeah, see, this is, this is, but Noah found hand in the eyes of Yah. Roman Christian doctrine believer, what is this? This hand, y'all thinking, and it just come in and do, and y'all teach great Grace is just on man in favor. That's it. It ain't the saving hand. Saving hand is Yeshua. You got that. He giving you on man in favor, for you to repent and come back to him. That's all it is. I'm at a favor. And this is, and then go, go, uh, skip down to 13. See, these are uh, add on who I've had. God always warns his people before he does anything. Read. Verse 13, and Yah said unto Noah, The end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence to them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. I'll uh, read 14. Verse 14, make thee an ark of gopher wood. Rooms shalt thou make in the ark, and shalt pitch it within and without pitch. Hallelujah. That's our daddy Yahweh. He, he warns us before he does anything with his child. And then what he put in, he's going to get out. He put in to know what he's going to get out. The flood. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. What, what you put in, you will get out. Whether it's told or wrong. He said, you choose God, Mama. That's what it is. <laughs> you choose. That's the same that you put in good food, you're going to get out good results from that good food. You put in bad food, you're going to get the results from the bad food. Mm -hmm. uh, the diseases and bad health. You put in good food, you're going to get good health out of it. How do y'all want? Mm -hmm. What you put in in life, you're going to get out. How do y'all? He said, choose you. He said, choose you. Cat. So that's putting in the goodness that you got going in, you're going to get out of the blast. God. Yeah, you're going to have House of Tom trying to attack you, but that's why you got that whole shit with you. It's just bouncing off because you sold out on his word. He had, and, then, and then it was a big popular pastor teaching this morning at the Roman Christian. They ain't rapture. Where are you getting rapture out? Like he told Norwood to how to escape something. He told him what to do. Build this, and I'm going to, this is going to happen. Where in there where you sure that the one young man Jesus came and said, I'm gonna be God gonna be raptured off to Mars and Jupiter beyond the thing. And and and, and they thought they, 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 they pop and pass, they raptured off before the tribulation. He said, that's y'all friends of the rap. Liar, he talking about the tribulation, how's the time gonna come down on the on the people? You're gonna be right here. You ain't gonna be up there watching on the big screen, taking in your popcorn and seeing that. The tribulation is what he tell you to get it. And he got all these people believing that lie from them. Big known pastors sitting there thinking they can just do whatever and we're going to wrap it up. 
and then he's gonna bring them back down. <coughs> now he tells the tribulation to praise them. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's how the house time will come down on those who are alive. Mm -hmm. But he got he got he had as he already did in God, he's gonna tell those who follow him, he said, flee to the wilderness, he's gonna take you back there. Because as they fly people into different countries and all that, you know, y'all going to take it back and hit modern day thing. Mm -hmm. Your money ain't going to mean nothing when that thing comes. Mm -hmm. So, right, you're saved for, you know, these times you were alive, mm -hmm. but you got the devil whispering to people here, say it is, and tell it is, oh, I wish, and could I wish tomorrow, it ain't tomorrow, you selfish person, you. He, he's long suffering, right? We're going to be long suffering, wishing that no one would perish. And he's going to take it back over there. Hallelujah. Yeah. Genesis chapter 11. Genesis chapter 11. We wait on Yah. That's what we're doing. We're waiting on Him. We're waiting on the promise. As they saw, saw the promise before, see the promise before it was done. Our brothers and angels. We see it now. We see the kingdom coming down. We see the fruit of the arrow now. We get with Yah. We see the fall off in the spirit. Our spiritual eyes, ears, and mouth have been open boldly to bring these words and lady word from Genesis to Revelation. All oh, praise to our daddy Yahweh. And his great shame should I'm going share. Yamain. Yamain. Chapter 11, verses 1 8. Uh, Genesis chapter 11 and verse 1. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. That's how we were at one time. Read. Verse 2. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar. And they, and they dwelt there. Verse three. And they said one to another, "Go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly." And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. And this is what this is what this, what we had put in. This is what we trying to get out. And they are my I call to them, "Go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly." And they had brick for sure and slime and and. They for more to read. Verse 4, and they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto, the he unto heaven, and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the earth, whole earth. How do that? Well, I know it. This is yeah. something deep. I never got it. But, and they are my go to. Let us build a, us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto the Shemite.